My name is David Zamak Burson, and I had the privilege and the honor to study with Dr. Moshe Feldenkrais for uh, 10 years in the United States, in Europe, and in Israel as well. And in 1974, I went to Israel. And I, I'll say something about uh, Moshe's generosity. So I, I graduated from UC Berkeley and this was in December 73. I met Moshe in the spring and uh, he was teaching in Berkeley, teaching a workshop and I attended it uh, most days. He was there for a month and then he taught an evening class for the public uh, Tuesdays and Thursday evenings, and I, uh, I would attend that class. And um, we had a couple of casual conversations in that time, but I was, I was profoundly moved by uh, watching him work with um, a oh, man in probably about 40 years of age, with very, very severe cerebral palsy. And either Moshe, Dr. Feldenkrais, or his uh, assistant who he uh, rung up in, in Israel and asked him to come help him in Berkeley, Yochanan Ryerwant, um, either, either Moshe or Yochanan would give this fellow a lesson, a functional integration lesson every day. That's the hands-on aspect of the Feldenkrais method. And the first week that the gentleman was there, his voice was very difficult to understand. His ability to walk was very restricted. Um, but you could see that this was a man of intelligence. And indeed, he worked for the United States Senate, uh, like a Senate page. And by the fourth or fifth week of receiving lessons, I, I guess it was the fourth week of, of this gentleman receiving lessons, the difference was just stunning. Some days he received two treatments, two lessons, most days only one. And it was, and his, his arms were no longer tangled up and in front of himself. His voice was easy to understand. It was just, just extraordinary. And, um, and I and a group of others wrote to him. Uh, it, it, we, together, we, we were working in concert to go to study with Dr. Feldenkrais in Israel. Well, something happened and nobody else came there except for myself. And I didn't have very much money, but I, I worked. I actually worked on a ship to get to um, to Europe, and then I hitchhiked uh, to to Greece, and then by, took indulged in an airplane from Greece to Tel Aviv. It's a very Athens to Tel Aviv. It's a very short flight, and I the day after I arrived. I knocked on the door of his clinic, which was on Nachmani Street in Tel Aviv, a very old street. And, uh, and he said, oh, I was expecting you. I hadn't announced myself at all. I hadn't kept up the correspondence telling him that I was going to, uh, to come. And the, the, that little group had fallen apart months and months and months uh, prior. And he said, come on in. And for the better part of three, four months, uh, every day, except for the Sabbath, every day I would sit in his little clinic, which was as as large as maybe two bedrooms, square footage wise. And he just let me watch him work, literally. It was just the generosity just 
was amazing to me. I think there was one lesson, one functional integration lesson where he 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 nodded me nodded to me and said I should leave the room. And it was some princess, some Habsburg, uh, Habsburgian princess. And, um, you know, she, he thought she would want um, privacy. So that's telling you something about the, um, uh, just, ex he, he never asked me for a penny. Um, it was just, I, I've, I've, that's why I use the word privileged.